a map of the world, but it's only countries I care about. Oh, look, everything's shaded pink because I care about all of you. You know, it's so nice to finally have some wholesome posts nowadays. The world is just so toxic and where... Where is England? Say the line! Greenland says, no data. Yay! I'm starting to think, why are we even sending rovers to Mars? We should be sending rovers to Greenland. No one knows anything about this place. The United States of Alaska. Up here we have the lower 48 states, New York City, Los Angeles. And then right smashed in between Canada and Mexico, we've got all of Alaska. If you didn't put these words right here, I might have missed it. Thing pretty much looks normal to me. Europe, but it's only the PP shaped countries. So these countries are the most alpha. If your country doesn't look like a PP, then what are you doing? You're just asking to get a population density map of Russia. This person clearly put a lot of time into this googling list of cities and towns in Russia by population. I can't imagine how many hours this must have taken to finding this image and then just posting it up somewhere. I've seen this book before. This is a fun task. What do you think the borders of the Middle East should be? Don't be afraid to group people with no regard for history and ethnicity. It worked for the British and French. Interesting new territories we've got here. I am kind of finding some of these spots a little sus though. Which country are we going to name Sussy Baka? Countries with bidets or bidet showers. I don't even know how to pronounce that because I've never used one before. Versus toilet paper savages. That's right. I'm a barbarian for toilet paper. Is this actually a true map? Are these the places that really, I don't even know because like this is kind of a shit post. I do think the revolution is slowly taking place. I've been hearing a lot of Americans try these for the first time and they become big advocates. I mean, I do think we will always be set in our toilet paper savage ways, but maybe one of these countries out here can civilize us a bit more. A map showing us births, deaths, births and deaths, and then of course no data. Oh, would you look at that? This country has both births and deaths. Unfortunately though, the research is still a bit limited. Send a research team out here, come on guys. Every international index ever. We have of course a bunch of northern countries doing great, the USA and Western Europe doing good, Eastern Europe all the way through China pretty much doing average, Africa's doing poorly, South America's doing poorly. I've literally seen this image thousands of times. It really doesn't change. I don't even know if it's accurate anymore. You could just put anything and I would believe it. Just throw a title on this thing. Every country's opinion on Nono anime. And I'd be like, yeah, this checks out. Good Lahoma. Okay, Lahoma. Bad Lahoma. Nobody wants the thumbs down bad Lahoma or else things are getting pretty crazy. Well, glad to see that most of the time they're just kind of okay. The other day, a Mexican guy asked me if I was from Russia. I told him Estonia and he said, close enough. This is how wrong he really was. Imagine saying close enough when you can fit literally India, the USA, Finland, and then whatever the hell these things are, I can't even tell. Because obviously this author lives all the way in the easternmost point of Siberia. What a grave, grave mistake this man has made. Actually, this was probably my editor, Frank. You fucked up, Frank. Countries with rocket peepees in space versus countries with universal health. Oh, there we go again with that. We'll never be able to escape it. The year is 2111 and three empires dominate. Chile, Croatia, and Somalia have all formed coastal empires, forcing everyone inland to probably die due to dehydration. There is only one force that continues to fight back, and that is the Oceania countries. They better watch out though, because Croatia's looking really powerful. I mean, Croatia's whole existence is basically to block another country from having access to water at all. They're pretty much used to this, doing that to Bosnia. I guess Somalia is kind of the same way, and then yeah, Chile's been kind of growing this movement for a while now. I swear, I'll never be able to escape the long chili conversation. That's literally my thumbnail right there. Oh no, not another long one. Map of Europe, except it's much longer. And there's a bunch of random places just thrown in there, like Bigotopia and Poland. How fantastical can you get? This random bowl I found in my room looks like a map. Who would have thought? It's so cool that they're putting maps on just random balls nowadays. I really feel like my channel is starting to make a big difference in the world. You're welcome. My dream is traveling around the world. What they mean by the world. Western Europe, Turkey, China, basically no place in South America. I don't even think these types of people would include Mexico on this list. And once again, they forgot New Zealand. Countries and territories I've ranked on how much they look like a chicken nugget. In green, we obviously have the most chicken nugget looking places. Unfortunately, here in North America, 
America, we don't be looking like nuggies. Of course, long places like Japan, Thailand, Vietnam, they're not included. You can't be a chicken nugget if you're long, unless you buy it from like some sketch fast food place at 3 a.m. I would disagree slightly here. Saudi Arabia kind of looks like a nugget. Map of the world, but I've accidentally exploded a bottle of ketchup at 3 a.m. They stepped on it, so someone apparently put a bottle of ketchup in the kitchen on the floor for this poor man to have it explode in his face and then obviously ruin all this data. So much research ruined. States which are shaped like their flag. Now almost all the flags are rectangle. And would you look at that? Wyoming and Colorado. They're looking a lot like that shape. I would even argue North Dakota, South Dakota, Kansas should be included here a little bit. If you turn Utah, it's, it's almost there. There are a couple of eastern states that count for this. Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Connecticut. Come on, step up your game, guys. Imagine existing as a state and not looking like your flag. <sighs> Stupid. Notice how I said most of our flags are a rectangle. There is one outlier though. Ohio just had to be different and then they had the audacity to not draw their borders in that shape. France, but it's a sandwich I've partially ate. Gordon Ramsay's would definitely give this an 8 out of 8, mate. How great. A science comparison of every country in the world over Europe. I literally don't even know what I'm looking at right now. I think I can vaguely see Australia. It's even more confusing because like this is showing us the different projections. Oh, I see Albania in there. You remember silly bands? These are just silly bands on a map of the world, but the green countries are countries that are also headed by humans. They have a human currently at the head of state. The only thing more insane than that statistic is probably that they somehow found the data that Greenland has a human at the head. How did they find this out? This place seems to be like a black abyss of nothingness. Also, I don't think I would agree with this. I'm gonna call BS. There's at least one lizard person probably leading. A map at my mom's workplace. What a beautiful round ball they have here. This is what the government doesn't want you to know about. There is no North America, only Estonia. That's next to Russia, right? Close enough. Someone attempted to draw the US states by memory. I'm gonna assume this person is a European, but then again, we Americans can sometimes not be the sharpest tools in the shed. Okay, I can clearly see California, Nevada, New Mexico, Texas, not bad, Florida. Everything looks good in the south. And something really horrible happened. Did you have some sort of aneurysm? What is this? Is this Idaho? It's actually pretty good, though. I don't even know if I could have drawn it this great. You remember to put Hawaii in the Atlantic Ocean, too. That's something a lot of people forget about. Countries on the Super Mario Wikipedia page. Why in the hell are there so many countries on the Super Mario Wikipedia page? I'm gonna assume, like, it's mostly talking about the sales numbers in each spot. Ah, in the lightest of orange, there was only a mention of a city or a region, which implies the country itself, I guess. Yeah, it counts. The big ones, though, that really have a big old entry is the US, the UK, Germany, Japan, Australia, Egypt, and then randomly Switzerland and Austria? Why those places? New Zealand does not exist according to Super Mario, so I like how this has been accurate. What is Tanzania, Kenya, and Ethiopia doing on this though? Is this real? I don't even know if this is real. European countries that are probably cold in the blue they're probably cold. Russia, Finland, Sweden, Norway. Obviously down towards the bottom. Not cold. Turkey, Syria, that sounds right. No data for Denmark though. Clearly this person traveled to every country except for Denmark. Frick Denmark, all my homies hate Denmark. Oh, can we assume this person's probably Swedish? Now this is dedication. This man loves the country of Brazil so much that he put a sweat stain on the back of his shirt. I wish I could just sweat my favorite country and put it on the back of my shirt. I'd want to represent a lesser talked about country like Zanzibar or something. How do you train your body to like let out water only in certain spots? Just wanted to give a little update on this because we cover it at least once every single month. It's a pretty important thing to look after. We return once again to territorial expansion from the Roman Empire as of July 2021. So as of July 2021, the Roman Empire still cease to exist. But one of these times a red dot will pop up and we will never be able to stop it. Map of Europe, but this person really hates Poland. So they're either German or Russian. Or, well, I guess anyone that surrounds Poland, a neighbor of Poland. We don't know who this person is. They could be anybody. This county in Wyoming looks like a miniature version of Wyoming. Who would have thought? So the county resembles the flag too? Crazy how smart these designers really were. They just didn't draw our borders into like random shapes. There was a meaning behind everything. Here we go. Here's a map I've been waiting for. San Marino in 1763 or San Marino at its territorial height. And there it is. Just look at that big guy right there. How cool would it be? if San Marino was still this big today. Could you imagine? That would have changed the geopolitics of everything. This person has apparently come up with a plan to perfectly fix the Middle East. We have a pyramid tourist state out here. Uh, some holy land and home 
uh, stuff, some faith stuff. Turkey gets annexed by Greece. I'm sure they'll love that. U.S. overseas oil territory where, like, uh, modern day Iran is. South Turkmenistan. Secular kingdom of Saudi Iran. The Kurds. Okay, yes, this seems to fix everything. Literally no more turmoil in this region overnight if we were to do this. Everyone would definitely love it. The U.S., if it was divided into eight states, that mean nothing. They literally have no population or geographical synergy. It's it's just here. I do like this weird Louisiana thing that's going on. I'd be down for Louisiana, Minnesota. Like just to cut off the like a complete side of the country. I guess they're doing that. Texas is doing that too though. Finally, the real size of each country in the world. As you can see, the US is actually quite small. It's only about an inch. Whereas a lot of these African places look to be maybe a quarter inch. I swear if I look at this ruler and I see like a little mark here by like the five, you disgust me. I'd have a mark by the two. Countries where you can't show communist symbols, but I did very little research and the research is probably not right. In all the green, we have not banned. In the yellow, Hello, people might really dislike you, but who cares about all this? Thank you for labeling Australia. Australia deserves just their own thing. I always get confused about where Australia is, so this helps a lot. How not to find the state of Kentucky? Do not circle Pennsylvania and label it Kentucky. That's exactly how you do not find the state of Kentucky. That's great. That's this is a great post. All right, I'll admit it. This is actually me, guys. I was trying to keep this under wraps, but you all knew. I'm the only person out there that would buy these world map leggings. I'm just ashamed you've finally seen how thick I am. Symmetrical Switzerland. This looks like one of those, like, ink, uh, what they call blops or whatever that, like, therapists show you. How fast do you think they'd throw me in a mental institution if I did say something like, oh, that's Switzerland? I'm pretty sure my psychologist would definitely have to inform the authorities. This actually looks pretty good, though. This is, uh, pretty sexy. I'm just gonna skip every sus post from now on. If I see one more sus post, I'm literally gonna throw myself in and out space without any astronaut gear on. Ooh, this is cool. A map of a place I vomited in. It's actually broken down by counties. You gotta appreciate that. So this person threw up in Spain and a lot in Italy. Three times in Italy, in fact. A lot in the Balkans as well. Now, what does this say about these countries? Could this person have a very, like, sensitive stomach? Or are these countries just messing up in the food category? I'll let you decide. I kind of wanted to try this too. Here's a map of all the places in the world I've thrown up. In. It's just California. I haven't really left my state much and uh, I don't really throw up that often But that's what I want to change one day I want to travel the world and throw up in every single city that actually seems like a world record Is there like a world record attempt for that? I would try it a European poll asked parents if they'd be comfortable with their son Being in a relationship with an anime girl for the most part a lot of Europe does not find anime girls Okay enough for their sons progress is being made though in Latvia and Italy Belgium especially but the hub the hub where the parents actually set their son up with anime girls is France. It's so adorable. If only all the world was like this. I wish my parents accepted my waifu. And thank you to the patrons. Drew is a sussy bucka. Changed my mind. I'm about a nut. Drew's Argentinian grandpa. Luxembourg lover. Poppy Drew Wu. A Polish Wyoming 2021. Aaron F. Aaron After Hours. Alfonso M6. Bornski W. Bring Back Poland Bowl. Dalton D. Elijah Senpai. Full Sin Nicks. Mine Brothers 99 X2. Peter T. Popcorn 2008. Ryan N. Nick Blore. Stormtrooper 501. Patrick C. Thank you.